We're working on some hand targeting again. There she's bringing her face closer. And she's lear like learning to do it in a different position, in a different environment as well, because we just worked on this in her pasture. So the behavior might kind of fall apart a little bit, kind of like it is here. Um, if you start moving them to a different location. So don't worry about that, that might happen. So again, she didn't come to my target, there we go. I took it away and then presented it again. And she's pretty solid with like the nose and between her nose and her eyes. So I'm starting to work like kind of on her cheek and then start working back from there. Later on, kind of on her neck and like she was just kind of looking there. Um, so like, I don't think she was necessarily going for the target but I'll reinforce it anyway. Close. Like I'm kind of meeting her in the middle there. Like we're not really having her turn her head too much. Like she's kind of going just down to default <laughs> uh, behavior really more than anything, which is fine. That's good. I'd like her to do that. Um, besides, I'm just asking her something else. So I do like that head turn. That was better. Good. That was better. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Is like once we can get the neck, I can get some like. Um, like sideways movement with the shoulders and that's what I'm looking for. I should, she is struggling here though so yeah I should bring in my target so there we go. And you can't, there we go. You can't really see with me in the way a little bit but you can kind of see on the other side there um, where I'm presenting the target for her nose and then using my hand target up by her neck. Because I don't want her to, to fail multiple times. I want to show her the answer with something or make it easier so she can get the right answer. Good. Girl. Then use my hand target to have her lead over here and I have a bigger mat over here. Um, it's a little bit easier for her to see. It's not as small as that other one and I just wanted to have her stand on the mat in a different location. So that seemed to be a little bit easier for her and she's worked on this bigger mat as well. Um, but I'm just going to again feed for position really quickly here so that standing on the mat is very reinforcing for her um, and that behavior might de deteriorate a little bit just because we're in a different location too so that's just something to think about but this looks really nice just rapid fire feeding I'll wait till her head's straight again that's good feed there we go and I'll do that on both sides but just a little tiny sessions here just working on things um, we don't have to do a long session for everything. You don't have to do a million behaviors. You can do just one thing for a few minutes and that works really well too. And I'll have her follow my hand target. 